Just got back from a five hour flight, three hour delay, y'all want a video, cause I've been uh, slacking on this shit, so I came back, was gonna sleep, but I said fuck it, y'all deserve what you gonna get, and it's the video, so I'm here. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Yes, I just had my last and final short in Oregon, so I'm back from that touring grind. Did you miss me? I think you did. I know how they all. Now, in your group of friends, we all know about this one guy. The one guy in your group that is always fucking angry. I'm not talking about myself. I may be angry on these videos, but I'm happy all the time. Look at this. Fly. <laughs> Mostly you just lost a lot of respect for me. But you know the guy or girl that I'm talking about is the dude that always gotta cause a fucking scene and ruin the mood for everybody because he or she is always angry. <laughs> Selfish. And you guys ever noticed that when it comes to these type of people, the reason why they're angry is always over nothing. Got a mosquito bite. I ain't gonna itch it. I ain't gonna itch it. It's good. Motherfucker. Here's the thing, when you get angry and upset, yeah, it's completely understandable. You are allowed to feel how you feel because it is your shit. That's poetry for those of you who don't know. Uh, Shakespeare, 1882, AD, 46, prehistoric, uh, fucking shit. But if y'all know somebody like this, it's time to put them in check so y'all already know what it is. LGI, baby, let's get it, let's go! Calm down, you angry piece of fucking shit! Why must you always make everyone feel so uncomfortable? I'm so fucking upset I'm doing the Italian hand. She would You unsocialized fuck. If you had an ounce of intelligence, when you are that angry, you would realize that you are making everybody feel uncomfortable. Because by the time you are done yelling and cursing and fucking ruining the mood, do you realize that nobody's left around you? Fuck y'all motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. And another thing, motherfucker, you would put no sprinkles on my motherfucking ice cream if I ever tapped it. And sometimes it's not even the fact that you're mad that bothers people, it's how long you let it drag on. When you get mad at somebody who pisses you off on the spot, I think it's perfectly fine as long as you don't carry it with you for the rest of the day. You say a quick fuck, release it, and then you're good to go. What the fuck? Y'all wanna go eat? You see that? You said the fuck to release the anger, but after that, it's all good. I do it all the time, watch this. Shit! I'm hungry. You get angry for a few seconds, you move past it, and the conversation goes on. But these people who get mad and they let it carry on for a very long time, they have to tell you why they're angry over and over and over. Shut the fuck up! You're angry, we get it. We heard it for the first 30 or 40 fucking minutes. If you don't shut the fuck up, we're gonna go buy a bazooka, fill it with a bag full of nails, explode it in your butt wrinkle of a fucking face. Don't be mad because nobody love you. You know what you need? You need a hug. Either that, jack off, I don't know, whack yourself off like you're angry at it like that. <laughs> if you know for a fact that you are gonna socialize and be around a group of people, stay at home if you're gonna be that pissed off. Why don't you just try jacking off real quick? You can't even get mad after you jack off, trust me. I tried. Ba, 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 down. I'm angry! Uh, you know what? I don't, I'm pretty relaxed, actually. You guys ever notice, too, about half the time that they're angry, usually it's their fault. So not only are you mad when you get wrong, when you fuck up, you get even more mad at yourself. What the fuck? Whoa, what's wrong, dude? My fucking fart. It smells like shit. I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm, it's your fart! Now, I know what you're thinking. You would think that the angry guy in the group is me, but you're wrong, because I am soft. Much like these titties. Come here. Titty fuck. Wee, wee, wee. I'm not really angry. I'm what you call the hype man. See, I'm that dude when you get into a fight, I got your fucking back at home in my bed watching Netflix. Mm. David, you down? Fuck yeah, I'm down. 12 o'clock tonight. Hello? Hello? This bitch. I'm not a really good fighter because like in gang fights, I, I personally wouldn't know what to bring. The last gang fight I got into, I brought water balloons. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm right here. Well, what you bring, dog? Bacteria warfare. I just took a shit, I put it in my butthole, I'm gonna stick it in your eye. You won't get pink eye. You don't know, but it's gonna fuck you up in like two weeks. Well, I brought a gun, so this is gonna be easy. It's like that. Water balloons are serious weapons, you don't know. It's LA tap water. It got um, chlorine and riboflavicides. That's a, that's a word. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Yes, I am back. I hope you guys like that new intro that I have. I started switching things up on the David So Comedy channel. And guess what, people? Funny Fat Fit will be back in action starting this Wednesday because now tour is over. Now it's time to get rid of A and B. And maybe it'll make my C get a lot bigger. <laughs> but yes, Funny Fat Fit will be back on Sunday. And yes, you guys will have another video on Sunday coming up. I got more sketches coming out for you, specifically one with Danny Riel. <laughs> See y'all next Wednesday and Sunday. Catch me there. Peace out. Don't touch babies and stick your dicks and possums because I've done it before. Shit was really weird. Mm -hmm. Mannequin number. <laughs>